Ah, Mr. Fisher. What brings you here so early? Good morrow to you, fortune teller. Well, I wanted to be your first customer, of course. I'm afraid you are too late for that. But not to worry, I know you have been a most generous patron to my grandmother. Naturally. She was the finest fortune teller I've ever seen. I know she wasn't the kindest mouse, and that she was stern with both you and her grandson, but she had a gift like no other. I am happy to see you are following in her footsteps. You seem to have inherited her calling, even if you are not related by blood. I do not do this to honor her memory but to escape it. By telling people's fortunes, I hope to earn enough nutshells to buy a boat and get far away from this place. You would leave your brother behind? Or does he go with you? I do not have the heart to tell him yet. He still cherishes her memory and does not understand my resentment. I can only hope that he will accept my decision. I see. You've got a tough road ahead of you. May the wheel of fortune spin in your favor. Thank you. Did you want me to do a reading for you? Perhaps another time. I see you are already receiving other customers. Farewell. Mr. Fisher was right. Looks like I will soon get another customer. Perhaps I should wait here to greet them. Good day. Are you perchance the fortune teller? Indeed I am, miss. How may I help you? I come to you with a rather delicate matter. For some time, my mother has been trying to find a proper husband for me, and she has now presented me with a suitor. He is the reverend of our town and a very wealthy and reputable gentleman. But he is a widower and quite an elderly stork. His daughter is just a few years younger than myself. Naturally, I worry about his health and I wish to know if we can have a long life together. I see. Follow me please. I will check what the cards say about his health. Joyous tidings. It seems the Reverend is in good health, and that you will be able to have a long and happy life together. That's... nice. Thank you for the reading. I must go now and speak to my mother. Here are your nutshells. Well, that was odd. But time flies, and all this mysticism has made me quite hungry. I feel like having some grilled cheese. I'll light the oven. This will do nicely. And also some spices. Where is the pepper? Uff, I can never find it when I need it. I will have to search the cupboard. No, it's not here. Maybe on the shelf? Ah, oh, here it is. Not here either. Smells nice. Greetings, brother. Hope you don't mind that I let myself in. Ah, you're just in time. Care to join me for lunch? Gladly. I love cheese. How was your first day? It went well, I think. I did a couple of tarot readings. You know there are more ways to tell fortunes, right? There's palm reading, and astrology. I know, but I'm not very familiar with these methods. Ah, uh, no matter. You will have time to learn now that you're in business. There's actually something I've been meaning to tell you about that. I decided to take on fortune telling just so I can earn nutshells. Once I have enough, I want to get away from this town. There are too many bad memories here. So I want to buy a boat and sail away. 